I think this is quite interesting here. This is my dark fence and we're facing south. And most of the winter we've had bare ground here right underneath the fence. So I think a couple of positives here. One is there's a little microclimate here. And that fence will be very well planted with uh, some vine crops, more than likely grapes. And also, this fence actually straddles two small hugu cultures. And I think um, we have some really deep frost in the ground. And right here, we're going to get um, some major water soakage. As the snow melts, it's just going to run off because the ground is froze. But perhaps here it'll soak into the ground, and that's what we want. Okay, microclimate. Let's come down here to look at this here once. Yeah, it's soft. Looks like we've been fertilized with. Uh, with rabbit droppings. That's a positive too. I got this planted with alfalfa. So hopefully we get that to come up. Oh, there's some that's even green over here yet. Look at it. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> now we know why the rabbits are here. Let's look to the back side. Look, even on the shade side, it's all melted. And neat. Okay, we can dream about this for another month or so before we have to do anything. Thanks for watching. From the other side of the fence, this is on the east side, and look here, we've got some melting going on here. I had to place some cardboard down, a very large section of my yard here, you can see the cardboard here on the edge here, and over the top, put in uh, wood chips. So we're also getting the microclimate effect here on the east side. And I'm going to show you some bad news. Some mice got in here and chewed up my biggest apple tree. So there's a little section left there and I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do some grafting. I'm going to take some bark off of the top here. I'm going to have to do some major pruning. I'm going to take some bark off and graft it in there and see if that will keep this tree alive. But I noticed it and then I put some mouse traps in here and I caught three mice out of it. How they got underneath? They must have got underneath this cage. Oh, maybe they got through the side here. Look at Look at a big opening right there. See that? That's probably where they got through, right in there. Oh, I never noticed it. Oh, well. A 20 year old tree, I hate to have it die. Okay. That's what I should have done to it. Should have really caged it and tubed her.